this woman clearly has her own agenda. Well, you know. And it doesn't have to do with you personally. It has to do with her job. You are her dream come true, Ben. Somebody who... Well, I hope so. Who thinks that she's interested in you personally, when in fact she's interested in you as a consumer. Are oh, you saying she's, uh, she's duping me? Yeah. Yeah. I'm saying you're a big dupe. I'll get it. No, let me, let me get that. No, 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 don't be... Hello? Dad. Oh, sure. Who, who should I say is calling? Is that for me? Yeah, it's Cindy from Telepurchase. Oh, my main squeeze. <laughs> I love it. Uh, yeah, yeah, Ben has told me all about you. This is, uh, yeah, th I'm, uh, Dad, Dr. Please. Ka mm. I'm Dr. Katz. Mm. Yeah, I'm Ben's, uh, I'm Ben's father. Oh, my God. Give me the phone, Dad. Hey, ben, Ben, don't ben, embarrass ben, me. it's, Ben, it's, it's I know who it's it is. Cindy, the one you were telling me. Well, give me the phone. Okay, one sec, but just. Yes, yes, yes. W one second, I'll get him. Thanks, Dad. Um, can you, uh, give me a. What? Can you. <laughs> out? Through the revolving door there? Would you mind... Um, uh, I'm just finishing my coffee, so... Don't hit your fat ass on the way out on the door, <laughs> okay? I'm not listening, Ben, so just go ahead, you know? Dad, get out now. Ben, why can't I be in the same room as you? I but, get, cause Dad, I'm trying to get a little privacy on the phone. Yeah, but we don't have any secrets from each other. There's nothing you can't hey, say. Hey, Dad, if you wanted some privacy, and you, I would you, leave the room. But there's you. nothing that you can't say. Dad, I don't want to have this argument right now. I'll have it with you later. Right yeah, now, I want to talk on the phone. Because well, now is when I'm available this to This is costing this somebody money. So why don't you get out of the room? Why don't you treat your father with a little yeah, bit of respect? Use the f***ing door. Okay, but I don't see why I have to leave the Dad, room. Dad, would you please? Cindy, could you hold on one sec? Because I'm just gonna, just gonna. Dad, get out, out. Okay, I'm, I'm out. I'm out. This is, this, this hurts my feelings, Ben. We're gonna have to deal with this later. Fine, we'll deal with it later. Okay. Dad, what? Come back. Why? I need your credit card. <laughs> Hey, Laura. Yeah? Do you have a boyfriend? None of your business. Do you want to be my girlfriend? No. Hey, Laura. No. Laura. No. La no. I'm a great boyfriend. I would do everything for her because I'm whipped. Uh-huh. I never complained when I got sent out on errands. That's how you know you're a boyfriend, Dr. Katz, when all you'll do is just get sent out to get stuff. Well... And you look forward to it because you get to see other guys at the store, you know? Mm-hmm. I'm walking around, and I'm like, hey, Stan, what are you sent out for? Let me see your note. Oh, I need pads, too. Let's walk together. And when you get sent out to get something, you better get exactly what you were sent out for. Or you get sent right the hell back to stand on line with the other reject boyfriends. And they all want to talk to you, you know? The, like the guy in front of me, he's like, what are you here for? And I'm like, um, I bought a Spanish onion and I needed a yellow onion. And he's like, what's the difference? And I'm like, that is not for us to ask. I'm not even supposed to be talking to you. Do you know that women can only get pregnant two days out of every month, Dr. Katz? Only two days. Yes. And only one day is the main day. The second day, they're already pulling down the gate and closing up. Mm -hmm. And like a real tricky sperm can kind of be like, I just want to talk to the egg. I'll be right out. I just want to see if my friend's in there. Some guys have sex with a plastic doll. Is there a name for that, Dr. Katz? No, not yet. I would never have sex with a plastic doll. I'd feel so stupid, you know? All my friends would be like, I'm really stupid, I like my keys in the car. And I'd be like, that's nothing. Last night, I had sex with a balloon. Yeah. And I know I would get caught too, Dr. Katz, because I'm always, like, leaving stuff out. I know sooner or later I'd come home with a girl, she'd be really hot, because, you know, I was on TV. And we would walk in, and she'd be like, oh, my God, what the hell is that? And I'd be like, oh, my God, I left Beverly out. The only way to get away with something like that would be to act like you think it's normal. You know, just be like, oh, that's just this big plastic doll I have simulated sexual intercourse with. Hey, but enough about me. Don't you look lovely today, Cindy? Well, hi, Ben. Hi. It's Cindy from Telepurchase. I just said your name. Uh-huh. Well, I was calling because I was wondering if you're still interested in that socket wrench set. <laughs> you're funny. 
I mean, you must be, uh... <laughs> we have a limited supply, and I just wanted to make sure that all my priority customers had the opportunity to purchase one. <laughs> Do you really consider me, uh... Sweet. So then you are still interested in the 50-piece socket wrench set? God, you're like a lioness. <laughs> you know? Because... I mean, you... Because today is the last day it's available, and I will even throw in a 100% Teak Magazine Caddy for absolutely no charge. You know, that's really not necessary. I mean, children are dying because Teak is being made in Europe. So forget about the Teak, but definitely the set. Oh, good. So I'm ready to purchase. Well, that's why I'm here today. I, I'm not afraid to purchase, Cindy. I'm not... Uh... Well, can I help you with anything else today? You know, you are spoiling me rotten. You know that, don't you? <laughs> so so you were well-known in the neighborhood? My dad had a lot of Irish friends. Kind of, you know, they're nice people. They're kind of scary, you know, with the red faces and the red noses. Not at you. I know how you are. Yeah. You're a Bobby Panetz kid. Well, you're a chubby little kid, aren't you? Look at you. I'm going to give you a dollar. What are you going to do with it? I know what you don't even bother to tell me. You're going to buy food. You know why? Because you're a chubby little kid. Oh, look at you. Do something funny. Do that. Look at him shaking his belly. Clancy, come over here. Have you met Bobby Punnett's chubby little kid? Mm. I said, you know, the last time I got really, really drunk, I went to an Irish pub. I mean, they make you drink. Mm -hmm. You know what it is? They play that Irish music. It makes you drink. Because I walked in, I didn't want to drink. Right. They said, what would you like? I'll have a ginger ale. Check, come with your uncle Mike, me boy, and I'll just start it. I'll have a beer. Wait a minute, I don't want a beer. It was Donnie McAldo and McGee and whiskey. I want whiskey. I'll tell you, the worst diet I was ever on. Yeah. You know what? You only have three shakes a day. They say, oh, after a week, you won't be hungry. Oh, no. After a week, I was hallucinating. I was a goner, too. I was on the couch. No chance of getting food. I could have went like that. A Girl Scout saved my life. Yeah. She came to the door with cookies, and she had the cookies. You know, sometimes I don't have the cookies now. They have that order for them. Yeah, the paperwork. I hate that thing. What, now you're going to go bake the cookies? You come to my house at 8 in the morning, you bring cookies. She had the cookies. Mm -hmm. I saw those chocolate mints. I went, oh, I think you're going to win the trip to Washington this year. Have you seen Free Willy? Uh, no. Promise me you won't see Free Willy 2 before you see Free Willy 1. You have my word. I like Free Willy 1, but they had Free Willy 2, Free Willy 3, Free Willy again. I mean, he keeps on getting caught. I let you go once. I can't be doing this all the time. You're hard to sneak. You'd think he'd learn. Yeah, absolutely. Do you know that real-life whale, that real-life Willy? They built him a state-of-the-art tank in Oregon, and they had him in Mexico City. So they built him this tank. you know about this? No. They built them this state-of-the-art tank in Oregon. Now, they have to get them from Mexico City to Oregon. How do they do it? Um, they ups them. That was my next guess. That guy had a bad route that day. Oh, let's see what we got in the old truck. Oh, yeah, yeah! I'd hate to carry him up the walkway. Oh, God, I hope they're home. If they're not home, I'm going to leave them in the screen door. You want to hit the doorbell with your flip of their shamu? <laughs> Ben, yeah, and you know how much I'm anxious for him to, to cultivate a relationship with a woman. Sure. Uh, he is involved with the uh, woman who we met on the phone, who happens to be in the telemarketing business. He fell for a salesperson on the phone? It just sounds crazy when you say it. He doesn't, uh, he doesn't know her. He, he doesn't know her, but, you know, he, he called her up. Right. And he misconstrued her very playful tone right which is i'm sure part of her sales pitch uh, i'm sure for you know for oh, oh. for seduction he, th he thought that that she was coming on to him when mm. in fact she was coming on to him in the sales way oh and he got flambozled and, and he thought bought it was... a hook line and sinker really in fact he bought a hook line and sinker Oof. Dad? Yes. Hey. Hey, Ben, what's up? How are you? I'm good. What can I do for you? Uh, just a quickie. Yeah. Uh, I have some good news, and then I have some better news. What's the good news? Well, the good news is uh, the visa is tapped out. <laughs> and what's the better news? Well, you have other credit cards. 
Well, first of all, the visa can't be tapped out because I pay my bill. Well, I think this is more of a recent development <laughs> because um, I just got denied, which, by the way, is embarrassing. Did they say why card was denied? Um, I just assumed it was from excessive spending. <laughs> I haven't been spending excessively, Ben. I know, and I think that is a good thing. Uh, so I spent a lot. <laughs> I don't like the turn this conversation has taken. I didn't think you were going to love this one. Yeah. I just don't understand why you don't up your credit limit. Well, because I, I think a $5,000 credit limit is fine. Dad, not anymore. That's not fine. You're a man of means. I am a man of means. And I can turn very quickly into a mean man of means. If you're not careful, Ben, first of all, lower your voice to a whisper. Okay. No, look, I why? Who's listening? I just like it better. Okay. Well, if you if you would like to have a card with a... With a I can't hear you. You're gonna have to you're speak really, up. Ben. You're really getting on my nerves. I'm starting to piss you off, aren't I? You're a little bit. I'm starting to get recognized on the street, Doctor Katz. I am from all my TV shows. Like I was walking on the street, and this girl came over to me. She's really hot. She's wearing those um, nails with the designs on them. Mm -hmm. And um, she came over to me, and she's like, "Hey, I saw you on Letterman." And I'm like, "Oh my god, I'm gonna have sex." Mm -hmm. So I'm like, "Really?" And she's like, "Yeah." And then she's like, "Can I ask you a question?" And I'm like, "Yeah." And she's like, "Are you retarded?" <laughs> Dr. Katz, I was actually fired as a Denny's dishwasher. Jeez, I'm sorry to hear that. That's that's sad. They don't fire anyone. They didn't even know how to fire me. They had never done it in the history of Denny's. They just sent me out to take out the garbage and then lock the door behind me. And I'm like, let me in. And they're like, go to Wendy's. It sucks being a small guy like this because I can't fight anyone, you know? Yeah. Like, my neighbor keeps his music really loud, so I have to go upstairs and be like, excuse me, can you please lower the music? And he's like, are you an idiot? And I'm like, ha, 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 yeah. And what I really want to say is, how about I just knock your teeth down your throat, you moron? But, you know, my body can't back that up. I've often thought about just jumping him when he turns around, but then he'd just be like, do you want a piggyback ride? Laura? Yeah? I have a favor to ask of you. A favor? I need for you to get uh, a company called Telepurchase Inc. on the phone for me. Okay. Because uh, I'll tell you, sometimes you just need to take the bull by the horns and protect the ones you love, you know? Right. Do you have the number? No, that's the part I was hoping you could do. Find the number, get them oh. on the phone, then patch them through Dr. to Dr. Katz, if you had picked up the phone and done that, well, while you explained that to me, it would have been done right now. That's true. Laura. Hi, Ben. Laura, how are you? Fine. Yeah, how you doing? You look busier than a bee. Hmm. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Making honey. <laughs> uh, you're good at what you do, Laura. There ain't no question about that. I'll tell you, I'm in a uh, particularly good mood today. Great. Did you notice? Uh... Do you want to know why I'm in a good mood, or you just want to uh, no. do your typical ignoring me thing, which is getting old? Um, how about just one more time? So, Cindy, this is what, what's on my mind. Yeah. This has more to do, not so much with, with your, with the quality of the... My point is that my son, Ben, who is 25 years old, still very much a child. Oh, I can't take credit for all of that, but thank you for saying that. That's very sweet. Yeah. That is totally unnecessary for you to say that, but, um... No, I haven't heard that before. You know, we've spoken uh, a bunch of times, and um, I've, uh, you know, I've bought stuff from her, which I think is a good thing. And uh, she's great, and she likes me, and I like her more than she likes me, but that's going to change, and everything's going to work out. Mm. We are at that weird point in any relationship where we don't know much about each other yet, so everything is fascinating and mysterious. Well, that's great, Ben. I'm very happy for you. Is me padre in? See? Si. Well, then, uh, adios. I hope you find happiness, Laura. <sighs> no, that sounds, uh... No, I don't think anyone's going to beat that price. So, uh, hey, listen. I, uh, I have your number, and you know how to get in touch with me, and we will uh, pick this up, uh... Uh, Dad? Yeah. Okay, so we'll reschedule. Thanks very much. Okay, hey, Ben. Dad? Yes? Who are you on the phone with? I was on a... Somebody was just uh, canceling, and then uh, just rescheduled them. Cindy. Cindy. From telepurchasing. 
Oh, really? You're talking to Cindy. And I just want you to know that even though it doesn't look good... You're talking to uh, the tele- from Cindy from uh, Telepurchase. Tele- right. Yeah. Dad, what are you doing? Uh, good answer. Even though it doesn't look good, I just want you to know that I would... That doesn't look uh, great. Why would you get involved? Well... You, don't you think that's humiliating I to me? I can think of 1,800 reasons why, Ben. No, well, all right, so I spent $1,800 total. Mm-hmm. As your father, uh, I was a little concerned that she was perhaps taking advantage of you. Not in my early 20s anymore, you know? Mm-hmm. I am an adult. Yeah. All right, and I can handle myself. Mm-hmm. I can fight my own battles. Right. I can do my own laundry. Well... All right, and if I, I can, if I want to make telemarketing purchases over the phone, I can do that on my own, and I don't need my father to butt in, all right? Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go to the arcade. Okay. Don't forget your stack of quarters. All right. See you at home for dinner. So anyway, I'm apologizing because I don't think well, it was fine. appropriate for me to to, uh, to flirt with her the way I did, especially in front of my son. I wish I had known you were there. So your line at this point is apology accepted. Oh, oh, you're giving that to me. I'm hoping that you will find it in your heart to forgive me. Well, you know... Uh, because I behaved in a really reprehensible way, and I think I need to be reprehended. You know, Dad, I uh, I do accept your apology. None take it. Yeah, I, uh, I gotta be honest with you, Dad. Mm-hmm. Let's put it this way. Yeah. I think you and me both know women pretty well. Mm-hmm. And uh, you and Cindy had a thing. Dude, that do-da. was fine. Yeah. But you were not in the uh, Telepurchase Gold Club. I was. <laughs> and Cindy arranged that for me, mm-hmm. which means I'm better and Cindy liked me more. So now what? Well, you know how it went down with me and Cindy, Dad? No, I don't. And it did go down. Yeah. I uh, talked to her this afternoon. Mm-hmm. After you talked to her. Right. Well, I said right off the bat that I wasn't interested in any more products. But why did you tell her that, Ben? I don't, I don't quite get that. Because it was a, sort of a test of our relationship. And how'd she do? Well, you know what? It wasn't one of those kind of tests. Mm-hmm. It was more like a double-blind test. Do you know what I mean? No. Well, it wasn't a double-blind test. The Grand Robin tournament? Well, it wasn't like a test. Then what are we talking about? I have no idea. <laughs> You know, I, I have a friend from Scotland. Yeah. And I'll tell you something. That, that Scottish dialect's hard to pick up. I mean, he has a couple of drinks in him. We don't know what he's saying. We just agree with him. So, where do you want to go now? Okay, we'll follow you. Then I have a couple of cocktails. I know what he's saying again. You got to do it right away or you're going to get in trouble. Yeah. Hey, you're right and you're a chicken monkey for seeing to. Mm-hmm. What did I say? What did I say? Actually, have you been out for Indian food? Yeah, I enjoy Indian food. Oh, a little spicy. Well. I mean, well, I mean, spicy's a relative term. Spicy could mean, oh, geez, I burnt my tongue a little bit. Indian food's more like, ah! Now, you figure, though, Gandhi went on that hunger strike. Right. But he did it in India. Now, the food isn't that great there. Could he have gone on a hunger strike if, say, he was in Italy? Probably. It would have been harder. Oh, I, I see what you're saying. I will fast until all Muslims and Hindus are at peace. If necessary, I will die in this cause. Is that eggplant I am smelling? Oh, and pasta for you all. Yes, I'd love some. Do you like Italian food? Love it. Oh, I had this little Italian place I go to. Mm-hmm. I, you know, I spoke a little Italian. They had, you know, a waiter just from Italy. I mean, what a, what a nice guy. But, you know, I knew a little Italian, and he, and he thought that was so nice. What do, you, what do you know how to say in Italian? I know how to say, feed me, I'm hungry. Hmm. I said, Luigi, sono affamato. He got such a kick out of it. Sono affamato! Look at you, sono affamato! Hold on one minute. Giuseppe! Come in here! What'd you say to me? You say to Giuseppe, go ahead. Sono affamato. Sono affamato! Look at you! Now I think I might be in a little trouble here. I mean, they're dancing around me. Sono avamado. And no matter how much you eat, what's the matter? You don't like? I don't like. I had 14 plates. That's like. Because I don't want to go to jail. Have you ever been in jail, Dr. Katz? I, uh, I spent one night in jail during the 60s. Oh, my God. Really? Yep. Were you scared? A little bit. Did you meet anyone special? No, I did not. 
Because that's what I've heard goes on in prison, Dr. Katz. I heard, like, the other cellmates, like, they have nothing to do because they just play shuffleboard all day. So they come into your cell and they're like, hi, welcome to prison. We're going to have sex with you now. And you can't be like, oh, no, thanks. I'm just going to read. Because they're like, well, you can read, but we're still going to have sex with you. I don't want to just be famous, though. I want to be rich. I want to be, like, super rich, you know? So, like, where I could buy anything I want. Like, if I'm walking down the street and I see a dog I like, I can be like, I want to buy your dog. And the guy would be like, my dog's not for sale. And I'd be like, I'd take out, like, $100,000 and be like, I think I'll call him Harry. Right. And he'll be like, go to your new master, Harry. Oh, you know what the music means. We're going to have to stop now, Mitch. Not today. Let's go longer. I'm sorry, our time is up. I hate you.